guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of the Bookaholic here with another plan with me. This is my spread from last week using a kit from Lovely Rose Prints. It's very floral, which is outside of what I usually do, um, but I love how it came out. And you can really see the um, rose gold accents. Um, moving on to this week though, this is the first week of April. I don't have a monthly kit yet. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last year and that is go back and forth between Go Wild kits as that's what I'm getting ready for and Jacob inspired kits because it is the month of his birthday. So starting off, I'm starting off with Go Wild kit. So the first kit up is from Cricut Paper Co. It's this lovely vinyl sticker so I have to use a permanent marker to um, write on it. So we've got the full boxes, some half boxes here. We've got bottom washi and date covers, another um, full box. Got quarter boxes, appointment labels, glitter headers and headers. Heart check boxes, more half boxes, some work stickers, Monday through Sunday tracker, and weekend banner, page flags, deco, habit trackers, and heart checklists if that's your preference. So a pretty large kit. I write horribly with this pen. Um, so if you have any ideas or recommendations for um, a permanent marker that's really bright and vibrant, um, and easy to write with, definitely let me know. But if you're interested in watching this play with me, stay, stay tuned, tuned and let's, let's get started. started. So I start off with the page flags at the top and then I move to the bottom washi. I had a few problems with the bottom washi, nothing too spectacular. And then I move to the date covers. So a little bit about my planning style. I call this planner my reflection planner. So everything that goes in this planner has already happened. I use this planner to compare it to my main planner. It holds me accountable. It helps me manage my anxiety and it helps me tell how much I can realistically, realistically get done in a certain amount of time. Um, and because I don't work a straight eight to five job, it really helps me because I have so much control over my own schedule for the most part. I mean, there's some things I don't have control over like hearings, um, a lot of hearings, some hearings, um, but for the most part, I have a lot of control. So this helps me um, be efficient and productive with that control. So I finish up doing my intro things and after that I move to my sidebar. So for my sidebar I start off by putting a full box in the quote box. Um, I then put down a washi strip that I eventually uh, pull up and just well switch out because I didn't like how the colors were coming together. I put down a quarter box so that I could put down a title. A Monday through Sunday tracker I was tracking my grateful thoughts and I have a tracker so I could track my bar classes for the week. This is where I switch out the washi strip for a purple one. I close out that section with another purple washi strip and then I start a new section so I could track my reading. So the habit trackers for my reading um, and then I put down a not quite a half box, but a little bit bigger than a quarter box, so I could tra track the audiobook that I'm listening to. And then I put down a glitter quarter box so that I could track the book that I'm reading. So for this week, I'm reading um, a Harry Potter book and I'm listening to Innocent in Death by JD Robb. I'm just really into listening to that series right now. I've been so happy with it. It's been it's just, it's just, I can't stress how enjoyable it is. It's, I recommend it for anyone looking to get into audiobooks or looking to get into a good series. Um, that series works for both. So for Monday, I put down the alarm clock sticker from the Coffee Monsters Code to mark that I had our early start. I then put down a half box uh, sticker to mark that I had a contested hearing in the morning. The judge sticker, which is so cute, and very few um, shops have lawyer themed stickers. So that judge sticker is for Once More With Love. I put down one of the skinny quarter boxes and a 
envelope from Knockout Print Shop to mark that I spent the rest of the morning uh, checking emails. And I put that full box down of the skyline because it's beautiful, but also because emails suck up that much time out of my life. Um, I picked up Jacob and then <laughs> I put down the sticker from Toffee Bananas to note that I took a nap. Um, and that nap was really like bed. <laughs> I slept so long and I just got up to watch a Transformers movie with the guys and um, film a plan with me. And then I was just back to bed. <laughs> So for Tuesday, I start off with a glitter header. I had a bunch of hearings that morning, so I put down a bunch of appointment labels because I knew I was going to fill my hearings in there. The uh, paperclip sticker is from Planner Frizzy. Um, the folder sticker is from Sweet Bean Plans, and then I used the Judge sticker again from Once More With Love. I then used the YouTube sticker from the kit to note that I uploaded a plan with me. Um, my plan with me's have been going up late lately and it's just because the editing is just getting to me. Like I just never really feel like doing it anymore. Hopefully I'll get out of this funk because this one's going up late because I did the editing late as well. Um, I followed up with a, a foil heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts, and that I picked up Jacob. And then I just noted um, I, with the Tofu the Panda, Panda sticker from the Stick With Me shop, um, my husband always tell Jacob, like, a family that naps together stays together because <laughs> he never wants to take a nap and we always want to take a nap. <laughs> um, and so we took a family nap that Tuesday. So for Wednesday, I start off with another glitter header. I had some prep for a hearing I had later, and I had Jacob's um, routine and drop off. The coffee cup came from the kit, but the prep sticker is from Mochi Plans, which I think is back open. I marked the proof up, um, and the book sticker is from Knockout Print Shop. So after putting down another full box, I put down a little temperature sticker, even though Jacob didn't have a temperature, but just to know note that he was having some allergy problems and I don't know I was kind of worried about him um I put down a scallop sticker a scallop quarter box and a workout sticker from the honeybee shop to note that I went to bar and then I put a flat lay for the rest of the evening just to note that I had to get some work done and that's what I did for the rest of the evening filled in my sidebar and then moved to Thursday so for Thursday I start off with a glitter header and a full box um, I had a, I'm pretty sure that I worked pretty late on Wednesday, um, and so I kind of had a late start on Thursday. I put down that pen sticker from the Knockout Print Shop and just noted that I needed to spend um, the morning editing a proposed order um, for a hearing that I had coming up. I put down the Aaron's header um, and I had some trouble with it because my nails, like since I got my nails done, um, I, I, I just really can't pick things up the same way. And I know a lot of people are very good at not using their nails for things like that. I never learned that. I use my nails for everything. So whenever I get my nails done, I can't do a lot of things the same way. And it drives me crazy and that's why I don't get my nails done that often. I put down a um and I jotted some things that I did but I also put down a phone sticker from Piper Paper Company to mark that I spent a lot of time doing um calls to clients. I put down a flat lay to note some of the work I did that evening and then I also noted that I went to bar um that evening as well. So for Friday, I put down a glitter header. I'm sure you're noticing a trend. And then I put down the work header that came from the kit, put down a heart checklist to jot down a few things that I did that morning. Um, I needed to call to schools um, for my clients, not my son. Um, I needed to do some emails. I need to request some documents, um, follow up on a lot of small things and set up some visits. Um, after that, I put down a full box and then I put down a half box 
crookedly on top and I just noted that I took Jacob to the Thinkery which is a children's museum but it's very interactive lots of playing Jacob liked to play in the water and it was really fun to take him and see how much he's grown because we used to take him when he was a baby a lot more because they had like a really like an infant room for them to like crawl on soft things and explore and now he was really into like the water of course but it was really fun and then after that I had to regroup I had to change his clothes because he was wet and then we went to Mandola's um, because they have a great happy hour but also they have a play place outside somewhere in there um, Jacob had an allergic reaction to something he's like his mom he's allergic to everything and we ended up in urgent care um, and then we spent the rest of the, the evening giving him lots of cuddles um, because he it, it scared him um, and I edited a uh, plan with me so moving to Saturday I put down the rest of the glitter headers I also put down the hat the full boxes where I wanted them um, and then I what did I do oh I put down the weekend banner duh like it's right there then I put down a half box to note that I met up with Crystal um, a friend that I met at go wild last year when we went to the EC store and the weather was so horrible um, but we went anyway and uh, after we went to the EC store we went to Velvet Taco and I had queso there and I put down a two no I pulled up the to-do header and then I put down the scallop sticker because I'd forgotten about Velvet Taco the utensil stickers from the kit and just mark that we spent like, all this time in Velvet Taco just talking um, about just life and planning and the community and you know things that we noticed after that the weather cleared up quite a bit so I ran some errands um, noted um, that I had some fun time with the hubby and then I took a nap I did the voiceover for the plan with me and then I planned my week Moving to Sunday, um, I was the reach service producer. I had a heart left over from a checklist that I cut down, so I just put it in the clipboard. Um, after I put down the coffee sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. over the weekend banner, just to kind of signify my deepest thoughts. Um, and then I put down one of those little mini smaller than quarter box stickers to mark that I had a client visit in South Austin. Rarely do them on Sunday, but sometimes you just have to make exceptions and get them in. I then produced the evening um, service for my church, which I, you guys have seen, if you've seen any of my play with me, you know I don't do that. But um, we were shorthanded and I was feeling, I'd already meal prepped and I was feeling okay about it. After that, we went to dinner and we hung with the Browns. It was our turn to go to their home. And so we had a lot of laughs and fun with like we always do. And then I finished up Sunday by doing Jacob's routine and getting him ready for bed. Um, and that's it. So that's that spread. The first of the Go Wild spreads. There will be a total of three. I'll show you what's left over. And that's it. See you next week.